to between Gypsy and Zeke up at 12 o'clock location. We have Gypsy starting as the blue tear in bottom right corner. We have Zeke starting as the red Zerg. A bit of a rough start to this one. <laughs> this is going to be on Ascension, which is that blue storm rotated map. By the way, I don't know if I'm going to upload these, but Moltrap's birthday was either in the recent past or the near future. Everybody be sure to wish him happy birthday. I don't know if he wants me saying that or not, but I don't care because I care about that guy. I care about that guy. I want him to have well-being. It looks like that Overlord is going to the third spawn comparatively. I'm wondering if Zeke is going to go ahead and send out that much earlier drone scout out or not because it just really seemed to disrupt Gypsy's early game. And I just felt like, yeah, Gypsy's a little bit off for a large portion of the game, particularly in the upgrade sphere, uh, a bit delayed there. Also with the initial, the science vessels, I think were the biggest thing, um, the science vessel difference, because that allowed Siki to get more legs out of a lot of his units. And just Siki's ability to get map control, actually, through large portions of the map was really amazing, particularly knowing how strong Gypsy's uh, Terran versus Zerg is right now. Anyway. Ziki going to go ahead and go with an Overlord opening currently. This, on Ascension, I've seen Gypsy execute very, very well. Oftentimes what he likes doing is going ahead and going, uh, picking off early Mutalisks. And if he can clear those Mutalisks out, you'll see him actually transition into dropship play rather than early science vessels. So he can go ahead and go for drops in this very wide open. There's just all sorts of places to drop in this main. Looks like we are seeing a 12 hatch. So there's the initial hatchery down to more common drone timing. Peeling out barracks inside base currently for Gypsy. Overlord going to make its way out. And SCV Scout looks like it's making its way to the bottom left first. So Gypsy going to get a little bit of a later scout than usual from both sides. But I'm not sure. Seeing game one, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know who to favor in this match. Usually, just hands out on Ascension, I would favor Gypsy hands down. Knowing with the North American team battle. But Siki... Just doing amazing adjustments, doing a great job actually getting on top of this SCV currently, getting a decent amount of harassment done with this scout. Second SCV coming out. Barracks has already finished a little bit of delay as that SCV is pulled off the line, tr trying to hunt it down and still being annoying, forcing two more SCVs off the line. Doing a pretty good job scouting overall. First Marine in production. We do see that spawning pool and extractor up. A little bit later, an extractor, I think. Overall, SCV scout sneaking in. I don't think by much though, but just by a few seconds. So I'm wondering if those mutalisks are going to be just slightly delayed. Could be my brain is addled. Again, doing this one with a recent vaccine. For a bit, actually, it was funny. Oh, and I left <laughs> left the side panel up for a while. I was hitting like the wrong keys and couldn't get the... So this thing right here, this is going to be like the interesting side chat. For whatever reason, the replay progress bar, I was like hitting... I was hitting what I thought I was usually hitting, but my pinky was just off center a little bit on uh, my keyboard. Anyway... Going to two hatch play. SCV is going to go ahead and see that. Four Zerglings being produced on the front door. Actually, six Zerglings being produced at kind of a staggered location. There are three Marines on the front door. But let's see if these Zerglings can go ahead and sneak up and maybe even get an initial Marine kill. Or even if they go like the long way around, they might even be able to sneak in, get some scout, uh, and do some harassment otherwise. We are seeing that Engineering Bay first build. Bunker going up for Gypsy. The Marine's a little bit out of position. And let's see how Zeke plays it. Is he going to go the long way around? He is going to... So he's just splitting off two Zerglings to go ahead and go to the north. Trying to find an SCV to go ahead and harass. Trying to damage that initial SCV. And it looks like, yeah, Gypsy able to get that sealed. Four Marines now in that bunker on the front door. The one thing with that plus one weapons is because you're playing a little bit lighter on the early game barracks, that means you have less Marines to try to defend your front door right off the bat. SCV scout still alive for Gypsy inside his base. Spire morphing. I'm wondering if Siki's going to do kind of that similar thing. Could be I'm just off timing on modern Zerg builds again. <laughs> i have to go back and study them uh, as far as when that third hatchery is being planted. But let's see if he moves that drone out now. It looks like, okay, so yeah, this drone is to, this is more of the common thing, I think, to go ahead and grab a third base. And oftentimes where you grab the third base, I think can be indicative of whether you're seeing like more of a dedication to Lurker or more of a dedication uh, to Mutalisk as far as the early game. And it looks like he is going to try to plop down this drone in the bottom left corner. I think it's more wise 
to go for more Mutalisk heavy play on this map, despite the fact that, I mean, and, it, and that could be a consideration as far as Gypsy going for that plus one weapons overall, because you don't have ramps to work with on this map. And you off and awesome, awesome. Also, because you have big openings in the back, it's nice to have the mobility of those units to go ahead and sneak back and deal with that. It looks like the Zerglings able to get into that SCV line, taking a bit of damage. One Zergling down. Actually, are they going to get a Marine kill? Every Marine counts, keep in mind, at this stage because it's a smaller amount of barracks and actually able to get another SCV kill. Two SCV kills. And one Zergling actually able to flood in and get all sorts of scouting information. So three barracks now moving up. Ziki, and actually maybe even disrupt some turret placement. So Ziki able to be aggressive and get a lot accomplished here. Loses that Zerling, but knows at least initial turret placement. There's the scan. I'm going to see the Mulus fielding out. This is the hatchery in the bottom left-hand corner. Morphing in. Level 1 weapons being upgraded for Ziki in the opposite corner. Level 1 weapons just now finishing. Well, going to be finishing in just a moment here. Mulusks testing that edge. Only two of them there, though. I think Ziki's trying to peek forward before he gets his full complement of 8 around the 630 mark to go ahead and see where he can go ahead and... I keep saying go ahead. To inflict damage. Able to pick off two Marines right there and pretty easily, so getting some good value thus far. And forcing Gypsy to stay back rather than move out. Lurker Tech is being upgraded. As far as that transition. But here's the thing. On Ascension, because it is such a large, wide open map. And this is additional Neulis being grouped up. Because it is such a large map, there's so much territory to cover for Gypsy. And if these Medic Marines do get out, it just feels like, yeah. And he can somehow sneak out dropships. I don't know that's going to happen in this build. I feel like with the amount of Neulis in the... Lack of damage they're taking. He's going to favor more science vessel play. Another Marine getting picked off. Is he going to get that turret? Not quite. Ten Mutalisks now harassing this front door. Siki's doing a pretty good job of Mutalisk Micro, but also forcing Gypsy to stay back, which means that he's going to feel a little bit more comfortable potentially droning up, sneaking drones here and there, and getting additional tech. Lurker tech, about two-thirds finished. Third gas is there for Ziki. Gypsy now making his way to level 1 armor. So now he's got level 1 weapons. Starting to move out. But again, you can just see because how wide this map is. Not able to get that second turret up. One Mutalisk was taken down right there. There's also this gap that Ziki was trying to hunt. But now that that gap's open, Gypsy trying to pour through the Medic Marines. Is losing some additional Marines there. But able to take out several Mutalisks. Looks like four in that overall volley. Critically able to get through this gap where the Mutalisks can kind of just hunt back and forth. And now pressing out on the field. Now the question is, is where does he threaten from here? Double starport. Well, where is it being built? Double spar starport being built in the back corner. Actually scanning to try to find the mutalisks and hunt them down in open field. Something colony being built to try to defend this bottom left-hand corner. But Gypsy starting to... And here's the other thing. Because there's this gap here... The Mutalisks can also harass uh, that a little bit more readily if they can get position. Gypsy threatening the Mutalisk force. The Medics getting split a bit from the Marines. They're going to go ahead and draw back. That's going to force additional Mutalisks to be produced. But Carapace, looks like we do have two Lurkers behind that Creep Colony on the front. Evolution Chamber getting that Carapace upgrade. Lair Tech a bit delayed. So no Queen's Nest as of yet. So Siki might end up in the back foot in this game overall for that reason. Because he's gone, he's gone ahead and dedicated a lot of gas uh, to get the Lurkers. There's that Queen's Nest. But it just feels like that was a bit more delayed than usual. So advantage to Gypsy in that regard. And now Gypsy's starting to try to threaten this bottom left-hand corner. Try to tempt these Mutalisks in so he can damage them. Stimming. Ziki doing a good job of feeling Stim backing off. Pressing into it a little bit. Science Vessel count. Well, actually a little bit delayed here. Looking for those science vessels to start pouring out uh, from Gypsy. It looks like that science facility now up. Now the science vessels being built. Queen's Nest is there. It looks like the hive tech should, sh should start momentarily. And again, I'm just wondering if I'm just missing this build or if that science facility is coming out a little bit. I don't know. I'll have to go back and compare it to other replays. Lurkers starting to press forward. It looks like Medic Marines are free fall 
going into this bottom left-hand corner because of a little bit later... Because the, the hive's not there, we don't have a Nidus Canal to defend this. So it's just going to be Lurkers and Mutalists trying to defend with the Creep Colonies. Diving in before the Mutalists are in position to provide some support. Both Lurkers getting wiped out very rapidly. The scan actually not there, so... Just a half second with that scan keeps that second Lurker alive. So that Medic Marine Force actually gets wiped out in a huge shift in momentum now. Irradiate upgrading. More Medic Marines starting to press out in the field. Whole position Lurkers catching the Marines on that gap. You can see where this gap is such a critical piece of this map. Science Vessels are here overhead. Gypsy going to go ahead and try to take the long way around. But the Mutalisks, 10 in place, might even go ahead and drop on that turret and try to pick off Marines as... The reinforcing and Gypsy's going to have to force back. He is grouping, going to go ahead and try to grab his third base, realizing this is going to, if to stay in this match, he's going to have to be in more of a long term economic position. Seeky feeling the map control, going to go ahead and grab his additional base. Double irradiates, <clears throat> dropping, but Lurker sneaking through the gap. Going to catch a handful of Medic Marines before they get wiped out. The Mutalist trying to provide target prioritization to let those Lurkers do their work. But not quite able to do so. Additional hatchery is being plopped down. The hive is in place. The filer mount and double evolution chambers behind this. Keeping an eye on the upgrades. Carapace 1 is there. Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. Level 2 weapons just about finished for Gypsy. So it looks like he's going to be in a pretty good position as far as comparative upgrades this time around. Moving out with his medic marines is going to be able to catch an overlord out of position. That's not going to supply cap Ziki. Ziki actually backing off. Seeing these lurkers, and actually it's going to keep that overlord alive. Seeing these lurkers and lings nearby. Critically though, Ziki, if he can get this fourth gas up, also get this Nidus Canal up. Well, there's the Nidus Canal already. He might end up in a strong position here in this mid game. The question is, is can he get those vital defilers out? Can he get the Zerglings out? And can he get enough gas? You can see the gas count in the upper right hand corner already looking very favorable once he gets that Ultralist Cavern down to be able to produce a lot of Ultralists very, very rapidly. But he's got a very thin defense force right now. No Mutalisks, just Lurkers and Lings. Trying to guard this gap from the high ground. Gypsy engaging from the top position. The Zerglings trying to box those Marines out on the corner and also threaten the Science Vessels overhead. The Science Vessels want to drop and irradiate. One gets picked off. No Zerglings left, just four Lurkers otherwise. Seeky just trying to buy himself some time. Another Radiate dropping on the Lurkers as they retreat to the north. But Gypsy getting a strong position on Zeki's front door. And every single Lurker looks like it's been irradiated. This is just going to be a pure Zergling defense on the front. More Zerglings grouping up. Another Science Vessel actually getting wiped out. Gypsy peeling forward. Zeki at nearly half Gypsy's supply. The Marines grouping up. Actually running all the way around. I think they're just getting... What was happening there? Grouping wrong direction. They're going to go ahead and back off. That's an interesting play. Why are they backing off? What did I miss? Medic Marines going ahead and backing off. Looking for additional bases. It looks like they're just completely abandoning. That surprises me. Okay, they're going to go group up with these dropships now that these Milos have been in play. But the Zerglings spotting it. So backing off to go ahead and do a drop play over that front door... Uh, feels like a missed opportunity, though, because that was only Zerglings and Defilers. So instead, going to go ahead... Well, still might pay off. Going to go ahead and drop into the natural expansion. Creep Colony, not right there. That base certainly going to fall. The rest of the Medic Marines trying to engage. I guess technically this is the main, but there's a counterattack from Zeki once again. Good Swarm drop. Picking off a lot of Medic Marines in the interim, and it looks like Swarm also going to save that natural expansion. Zeki everywhere with this defense. And I think I heard Scourge going ahead and killing a lot of the dropships overhead. So Zeki, again with a huge gas bank, already has uh, the Chitinous Plating upgrading. He's mostly stuck with Zerglings, which is going to leave him a lot of gas to build a lot of Ultralisks in a hurry. And continuing to pick off Medic Marines. Looks like there is still a dropship out here. The Defiler finally getting irradiated. Still another group of Medic Marines... Wants to get something accomplished. He's going to try to walk all the way around. Wants to take out that Nidus Canal. Not able to do so. Nice defense from Ziki once again. While that's happening, more Zerglings finding Marines without medic support and able to wipe that out. Level 1 melee is there. Level 2 Carapace is going to be there momentarily. And that's going to mean we're going to have level 4 Carapace Ultralisks that are just now being produced. 
which is going to be a huge swing of momentum. Firebat's joining the fray. But here's the thing. I think Zeke is in such a position where his economy is strong enough, although, man, 38 drones versus 77 uh, versus the three base. But with those Ultralisks and with the upgrades might be enough. Some battle cruisers being produced to try to negate that and just force some gas to be built into Scourge rather than the Ultralisks. Medic Marines, Firebats, well, actually, single Medic, Firebats, and Marines starting to press forward. Scourge looking for some science vessels that are out of position, some Zerglings there underneath. The Zerglings probably not going to get a lot accomplished with these Firebats. And actually, just the lack of Medics is really going to cost this attack force. Ultralisks grouping and joining. Might actually just have the raw numbers to get it done. But now the Ultralisk eating and irradiate, but the irradiate's in close position. Gypsy going to be in full retreat. One science vessel down, two science vessel down, and the Ultralisk getting on top of everything else. And it looks like these Ultralisks are going to be cleaned up, but Zeke, and actually Zeke's economy looking a little bit thin. Gypsy going to go ahead and take the non clock base. If Gypsy can hold on to this, just because of, if he, and if he can get that fourth base saturated, he actually might be in a pretty decent position. His main mind out, his natural expansion is still looking good, building more battle cruisers. Did I miss battle cruisers getting a lot of kills? Not yet. They're starting to group up to assault this bottom left hand base. And if he can, yeah, just keep Zeke's economy low, keep the Ultralisk count low. Zeke going ahead and trying to grab his upper three o'clock base. Starting to move in now. Might be able to retake this match. Also, the upgrades just about to come online. There'll be level three weapons. Zergling and an Ultralisk finding that base. Another hatchery being dropped. I guess preemptively. Plague on the battle cruisers. It looks like it hit some of the Zerglings as well, but who cares? They're Zerglings. Ultralisk and Zergling gonna be able to uh, gonna get cleaned out the nine o'clock location. Looks like an Ultralisk managed to get up into Gypsy's. I'm not sure what to call this. Eleven o'clock upper upper left hand <laughs> his upper left hand base. Spore colony's there working on the battle cruiser. It is still very plagued. And Zeke has enough spore colonies where maybe if he just yeah he has a handful of scourge should be able to take out that battle cruiser. That's still gas that he doesn't want to deal with, and it looks like additional drones getting picked off. So Gypsy able to do some economic damage right there. The Zerglings flooding in with a single Ultralisk there. Ooh, and those Marines on move command rather than attack move. Trying to drop two bunkers, but this is going to be too late. Let's see if he can go ahead. And the, the Defiler getting irradiated. Is he going to be able to drop Swarm or Plague or something? Doesn't have energy, it looks like. It's just going to get wiped out. So Gypsy going to be able to hold that 9 o'clock. But the 3 o'clock base is up. So this is going to be 5 base versus essentially 3 base Terran. More battle cruisers moving in. It looks like they did get hit by another plague somewhere in between. But keep in mind, this this base is not mining. So this is really four base versus three base. So Gypsy's still in an okay position. This Dark Swarm, was this Dark Swarm just sitting forever? Okay, yeah, that was the earlier Dark Swarm. Science Vessels doing a good job of raiding these defilers. Zeke having trouble finding gas. The battle cruisers once again doing all sorts of disruption and actually plaguing the extractor as well. And that's really cutting into Zeke's gas supply, where he can't get those Ultralisks out on the map in sufficient numbers. He's got like an Ultralisk here, an Ultralisk there. More Marines pressing in the mid. The Science Vessel, one of them gets taken out, another does eat a Scourge, but still standing. And an Ultralisk with the Radiate, but only a single Ultralisk with the Radiate, engaging the rest of Gypsy's army in midfield. So it's going to be a who can weather who at this stage. Gypsy starting to mine at that 9 o'clock base. Starting to go ahead and press forward and get map position. He might be able to just wipe out that upper 3 without much fight from Zeke overall. Science vessels are heading that direction now. Nice irradiate on both Ultralists, but they are able to get right on top of that Marine Force, which means they're just outputting a lot of DPS. That's going to force Gypsy back. Scourge overhead, able to connect with another science vessel. Two science vessels down, only two science vessels overhead. But Gypsy's still threatening the front, and Zeke, as you can see, is a little bit low on resources overall. Still sitting on that 44 worker count versus the 75 comparatively. He's just he's relying on the superiority of his tech units to keep him in this match. A lurker wandering across an open field. The Scourge able to get there. More science vessels getting wiped out, and now 
that science vessel count has been completely obliterated. And it's been mostly battle cruiser production in between. So Zeke looking for that tech advantage and finding that tech advantage. Some ultralists peeling off to the south. Wondering if Zeke, upon seeing those science vessels out, is going to be able to find some room to drone behind all of this. However, Gypsy, 9 o'clock base, producing pretty well. Upper left-hand corner producing. I'm wondering if he's going to go ahead and float and try to grab another base. Zeke looking for it and threatening. Going to go ahead and engage the medic marines here. Now keep in mind this is without a radiate overhead. Three ultralisks marauding out in the field. And this is where it starts getting dangerous. Because if you can get a sufficient... Looks like the battle cruiser is going ahead and trying to engage this 3 o'clock. They do have level 1 weapons so they can one-shot the Scourge. So if the Scourge aren't getting them while they're distracted, they can't land. One battle cruiser is taking down. So Zeke having a, a good amount of difficulty dealing with this. There's a nice plague. Spore colony wiped out. A lurker pushed in between and Gypsy getting very aggressive wants to dive in and shut this base down. There are Zerglings there underneath. However, the battle cruisers joining the fray, they're not quite able to... And here's the thing. Yeah, radiating the Ultralisk. Battle cruisers do not damage anything under Dark Storm. The Ultralisk sweeping in from above. If the Ultralisk get on top of these Medic Marines, they should be able to wipe them out pretty rapidly. You can just hear the deaths of Marine and swarms. Swords. Two science vessels trailing this. And that's getting wiped out. And Gypsy in retreat. And here's the thing. At this stage, Zeke might be able to get more Ultralisks fielded. Unfortunately, you're radiating the already weakened Ultralisks. So it's getting wiped out very, very rapidly. Once Zerg gets out on the map, can, can start wandering around. It forces Terra in a position where they have to extend those science vessels to find those Ultralisks. And if you can have Scourge up in the air and pick them off, it can be very difficult to deal with. Gypsy moving out once again. Another Dark Swarm drop. Trying to engage the right, but there's Zerglings there to, grab, to, to meet them. And a great positional play from Zeke, pinning a lot of those Medic Marines under Dark Swarm with those three Ultralisks and a handful of Zerglings. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sit under that Swarm in the interim. Is he going to looking for him to go ahead and try to drop a Plague on those Science Vessels as well? Zeke finding room to go ahead and continue with this macro. And yeah, just doing a great job with these little engagements in between. To keep Gypsy back and keep him preoccupied. Gypsy trying to do the same with battle cruisers, but those battle cruisers keep getting wiped out at that nine o'clock base, finally dealing with everything that was happening in the middle of the map. But Zeke gonna go ahead and expand to the six o'clock location. Gypsy still now sitting just at two bases. His natural expansion mined out. SCVs are idle there. So the worker count is a little bit deceptive. And Zeke still looks like mining at essentially four. His main's mined out, but he's still mining at the natural expansion. He's got that three o'clock base, which he's held forever. Science vessels, yeah, overhead, but a lot of them are getting wiped out. And this is what I was talking about once Zerg is kind of out on the map. Oof, the Marine's a bit scattered. Gypsy having trouble, I think, keeping his army cohesive at this stage mat match. And the Ultralisks finding Marines separated from medics that they can, that even if they're irradiated, if they can get on top of those Marines, they can just obliterate them pretty rapidly with that irradiation. Finally, the medics rejoining from the south. The Ultralisks were walked out enough with that irradiate to get wiped out. Gypsy regrouping, but things are looking a little bit scary for Gypsy. Overall, he does have level 3 weapons, level 2 armor, and level 3 armor will be there momentarily, but Ziki is starting to match that. The Science Vessel count has managed to get back up to 6. Looks like more Scourge wiped out overhead. Getting some nice... Ooh, good plague right there. Getting some nice irradiates down on the Ultralisks out in the front, but in the meantime, Ziki mining at all of these exterior bases, critically getting that delicious, delicious gas, and has basically been able to repel everything that Gyps uh, Gypsy's been throwing out at him. Gypsy going ahead and now grabbing this inside 12 o'clock base. Not sure how confident he feels in it. He needs to take it, but I'm not sure how confident he feels in his ability to hold it. Another Dark Swarm dropped at that 9 o'clock while the Medic Marines were pouring across the middle of the map. The Marines getting out of there. This is causing a lift. And keep in mind, this is one of two mining bases currently for Gypsy. He needs to hold this. Looking for a counterattack, he is going to be able to take out... Oh, the hatchery is going to spawn and not get canceled by Zeke. No, yep. Does He is going to be able to take out that 5 o'clock base. I don't know that he's going to be able to break anything else. But this is a favorable trade for Zeke because Gypsy... Yeah, you can see him distance mining. He's going to try to distance mine to take out whatever else is in between. Another Dark Swarm dropped on that front. Zeke pressing the Medic Marines back. Towards the... Uh, Gypsy trying to regroup on that high ground, but a big plague dropped. 
which is going to allow those adrenal upgraded zerglings to just kind of tap them. It looks like they are going to get peeled out. That's also going to drain a lot of medic marine army uh, energy, I should say. Ultralisks peeling up towards that inside 12 o'clock base. No SCVs there, but that's going to force another liftoff. And now that base is mined out in the upper left-hand corner. Gypsy, this is Gypsy's one mining base again. He just seems like it's con every time he gets a base up in the last minute or so, last handful of minutes, Zeke's been right on top of whatever he's been trying to establish. Gypsy still has a superior supply count. More battle cruisers look like they were, I missed this, the battle cruiser able to take out that upper 3 o'clock base. So between denying the 6 o'clock and taking that, base up at the three o'clock gypsy keeping himself in this match if he can just re-establish his economy get that base out and somehow hold this nine o'clock base get some map control maybe you'll stick in it but a big swarm of ultralisks and zerglings once again forcing another lift off and now diving in towards that upper base sevs in flight running alongside zerglings i wonder what that looks like in a this would be an interesting cinematic to have like Zer scvs running with minerals some of them exploding on the way just desperately running irradiates actually working irradiating his own scvs it looks like to try to damage the old list maybe you misclick right there the scvs once again stalwart heroes going back out to mine as the ultralists are running alongside could you imagine that inside the back <laughs> inside just running with minerals just as ultralists are chasing you down just oh but there's gg from gypsy ziki takes game two fun one hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening